Welcome everyone to Off the Cuff. I am Adam Banks and it's an awesome, beautiful night. It's fall. I love this weather. It's perfect weather. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. Nelly is with me. Nelly, how are you? I'm doing good, Adam. Hey, everybody. Hey, yay. And uh, this night, is, it feels great outside, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It, you know, it's fall. Yeah. You know, so this show has made it through the spring, through the summer, and now into the fall. We've almost did all four seasons. We're yeah. on three now. Yeah. We started the show March 1st. Yeah. And uh, we talked about, you know... Um, all kinds of uh, crazy stuff, and then you know it it drug on to the summer where we talked about the uh-huh. or the spring or, or the summer where we talked about the derby, and you know and then uh, it, it's it's to now where we're talking about whatever we're going to talk about here tonight. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's crazy. So we're on episode number thirty two, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's crazy. It's that means the show's been going on for thirty two weeks. Yeah, I know. That's wild. Uh-huh. That's wild. Keep listening, guys. Podcastgarden dot com slash off the Cuff. Um, so something's being said in the in the something's being worked right now in the Kentucky Senate. Uh, it's uh, they're about to vote on it, and I wanted to see what your thoughts about it was. It's should homeschool kids be allowed to participate in public school extracurricular activities? What do you think? I think as long as their parents are paying the taxes and the school taxes and. Taxes, their taxes like they're supposed to. Why not? Okay, see, uh, I understand that. And I, I, I'm glad you brought the tax uh, conversation up because I'm going to touch on that. See, I absolutely am against homeschool kids participating in public school activity, and let me tell you why. If you want to play for the school, you need to go to the school. You need to be a part of the school. You know, you, sh- you shouldn't be allowed to go to a homeschool and be able to participate in the people who the kids that go to public school who have to endure public school their activities you shouldn't be allowed most sports programs are are uh, fundraised by boosters yeah. and not taxes right. so i think since you know most of the time it's it's the kids raising the money themselves no it's their parents or their parents or even if it's their parents it's it's privately funded you know, so so no. I think if you want them to participate in public school, send them to the school. Why are you too good to send them to the school, but you want them to play? They're not good enough for your kids to go to and learn under those teachers, but they can play under those coaches. They can play with those other kids. No, absolutely not. Your response. This is where you're supposed to respond. I, I this could go on for days. Yes, yeah, so, I still just feel like you know they live in this this town. They. They know everything that's going on. They read the papers and everything about the the ball teams and stuff. I don't think kids read papers. I think papers. Well, they can see it on the internet and stuff. And I like how you say papers because I think newspapers is going obsolete. Well, I know that, but I still like to look at them every once in a while. I I believe newspapers are are really on their on their. That's one thing that we used to read was the funny papers. Oh, that's crazy! It's, It's crazy that it is on its last legs. The newspapers. Yeah. Because of the internet. People go to the internet to read their news. I know it. Facebook, Twitter, you can get on They were talking today that uh, these girls, these two girls were going to give up, have already given up their cable TV. They watch it on their laptops. Yeah. Well, watch TV on their laptops. She said, why should I pay that extra bill? And it's so high. And also, you know what's crazy is TV, believe it or not, could one day... Be something that is not so popular anymore. That's right. Because, you know, Netflix is producing television shows Mm -hmm. that are winning awards. Mm -hmm. They're actually legitimate, incredible shows. Like House of Cards is Mm -hmm. a Netflix show. Um, The Orange is the New Black. Have you heard of that show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is a Netflix show. That's not on TV. Those shows are on Netflix. And what's crazy about Netflix is they put, like, if there's 12 episodes in the first season, they put all 12 on at the same time. Mm-hmm. That way you can, you know how you watch Breaking Bad yeah. every episode one after another? That's right. how they do their seasons. Right. That's pretty clever. Yeah, it, it makes is. people get into the show, uh, mm-hmm. get attached to those characters, want to watch the next season. Well, you know I said I'd watch it all day sometimes. Uh, Breaking Bad is one of those shows that it is. And I have the night. Yeah, it addicts you. Like, I hated watching it. On Netflix because every time it was over... You couldn't wait. I couldn't wait till the next day I had to watch another one. And it really got on my nerves because I was getting into bed sometimes at like 
one, two o'clock in the morning, I had to get up the next morning. I was getting work. up two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you watched the entire Breaking Bad series in a week and a half. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was a week and a half. A week? Mm-hmm. Dang. Five seasons. What was your favorite part in the whole entire series? Oh, Lord. Your favorite part. I had part. too many. Your favorite part. I Okay, I can tell you like my top five. Um, I liked the scene where um, he confronted Gretchen and Elliot and, made, and hired the hitman. Oh, my favorite was one. the end. The ending scene? When he, when he, when he tells her... That he did it for himself. Oh, the scene with Skylar. Yes, with Sk- I love that. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. He was like, I said, finally, you said it. You said it. Yeah. You, you want to do it because you want to do it. You yeah. like the money. You like the power. You like yeah, it kept him everything alive. that went with it. If he hadn't have done it, he probably wouldn't have uh, lived two years. Lived, lived two years, you know, that was keeping him alive. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It was a crazy show. But anyway, Netflix has really taken over. It's crazy how... It's it's amazing how companies that are once multi billion dollar companies like Kodak mm-hmm. can go out of business because people don't use cameras, cameras anymore. Mm-hmm. When's the last time you seen somebody pull out a camera to take a picture? Oh, I still see quite a bit of it. I don't see it. It's always with the phone. Well, I yes, I'm out with the grandkids and stuff so much, you know, I see it. Man. But film in like the zoo. Film and, is just is going obsolete too. I, yeah, that's true. It really is. Like people are taking pictures with their iPhone, saving it to their computer so they'll always have it. And if they want to print off a hard copy, people don't even print off pictures uh-uh. anymore. Oh, that's what I'm saying. The cameras that they've got, they download to their computer. Yeah, or they or they post it on Facebook. That's uh-huh. how they look at uh-huh. that. You know, nobody wants a hard copy anymore. If they want a hard copy to, like, hang up, they'll, that's when they'll usually print it out, if it's one that they want to hang up. Nobody prints off pictures anymore just to, like... You know how people used to print off pictures? Mm-hmm. Just print them off and, like, put them aside? Everybody did that. You did that, didn't you? Where you mm-hmm. had, like, like, a picture album yeah. or something? Nobody does that anymore. Do you keep a picture album? No. Don't. No. Mine's all in a big box. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a waste. But your new ones, though, you they're all on your phone, right? Mm-hmm. When's the last time... You had a hard copy picture of your granddaughter. Not that you hung up, but you just have. Probably that one right there. The, well, that, that's because Kathy saying gave the one it to me for But she got it off my phone. No, well, I'm saying the ones that you don't hang up. Oh. None. I don't hang up none. Yeah, yeah. So, things that were once, like Blockbuster. I worked at Blockbuster all through college. That's That was my job, Blockbuster. A video store. Yeah, it was a great I, I store. remember. Blockbuster is also it's it's out of business. It's, oh yeah, it's gone. Video stores no longer Red exist. Box. Redbox killed them. And Netflix. Yes. And Netflix. Redbox is a. That was a billion dollars ideal. <laughs> God, it was. It was. But sometimes they don't have the movies. They don't have a big selection. No, but for a book. For a book, they had decent selections. Yes, video stores you could find everything. It's hard but to I hated them. going in them. I hated going in them. <laughs> like be all bright. <laughs> you know, it's almost impossible to find. Like, if you want to find an old movie, you can't. You can't find an old movie like well, hard copy anymore. On Netflix, you know, you can because you know, like I watch. We watched that Eye for an Eye. Yeah, yeah, but you're not going to see that out in the store anymore. Because not... I've tried to find it because. There was somebody that I wanted to see it, and I can't remember now who it was. I wonder, like, what movies, what makes them worthy to go in stores? Is it just like a rotation? I think it's Patty I want to see it. I guess. I need you to see the movie, Mr. Brooks. Well, I want to watch it. Me and Patty was telling you about that movie. Yeah, I want to watch it. We were telling you about the, um, you know, how, it, it was my favorite role that he did. He is, he owns a box company. He's a very like rich man, got mm-hmm. a beautiful wife, beautiful daughter, beautiful family, and he is a serial killer. Oh. It's a crazy and he's he's a genius in it. He's like another like mastermind. It's a uh, shit. Robert Williams? No. Kevin Costner. <gasps> oh, I love Kevin Costner. <laughs> Kevin Costner, yes. Well let's watch is it, it Kevin now, Costner? can we? I, I've tried to find it, I can't find it. I don't know where it's at. It's not on Red Box. It's not on Leave Netflix. this here and let me watch it on there. It's on what? I don't know. Find it. On what? Watch it on what? This. What's this? Your laptop. That's not a laptop. Well, whatever the fuck it is. You tell me what it is and I will let iPad. you borrow it. There we go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. 
<laughs> she finally can name it. It's an iPad. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for tuning in and listening to Off the Cuff. Always keep on listening. Oh, I just want to um, let you guys know a little bit, some an update on Off the Cuff. We have a University of Kentucky student working for me. Um, I'm his client. He is taking a business development class where he has to help design multimedia um, presentations for a company. He chose off the cuff. Mm. And he's building us a website. He's building us um, all kinds of stuff, multimedia, flyers, logo, colors, all kinds of stuff. Wow. So, so yeah, uh, so uh, the website's going to be up soon, and I can't wait for you. And sometimes he listens, so what's up, man? Uh, thanks for listening. And can't wait to see the website. Okay. But ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for listening. It's always a pleasure. We appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next episode.